Nice. Dude, let's go. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Untamed Outdoorsman and today we are back once again in the garage and we are back for another first impressions on a fishing rod that I bought. So we've done a few of these in the last couple of months. We've done a couple of reels. We've done a St. Croix Mojo Bass Trigon rod and we did a Dobbins Champion XP rod and today we are back for another rod and this is going to be the Dobbins Caden series 7.4 Extra Heavy. This is not going to be a review video by any means. This is just a kind of first impressions. I just took it out of the box, not even five minutes ago. And this is going to be kind of an initial reaction and a first impressions kind of video. Uh, if you want a long-term sort of review, um, we do full rod and reel arsenal walkthrough videos once per year. So we'll be doing that in a couple of months here. And this is the Dobbins Caden. So at the time of recording this, we still have plenty of time left in frog fishing. It's actually early August right now. And this is going to be perfect. So my old rod, the Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick rod, I finally decided to not work anymore. So that was my cheapest rod that I had at, at the time. We'll still keep it as a collectible because it's still kind of rare. But we replaced it because I just figured it was time to, to do a replacement. It was my cheapest rod and it was my oldest rod. So yeah, this is the Dobbins Caden 7.4 Extra Heavy Rod. So this rod, the Dobbins Caden series, is right on par with the Dobbins Sierra series. It is actually at the same price point. There are some differences between the Caden and the Sierra, mainly stemming from the power actions on the rods. The Caden series, generally speaking, they tend to be on the heavier duty side of, of the rods and the Sierra series are on the lighter duty side. I know they make a couple of BFS Sierra series rods as well. So this is gonna be for much more power fishing. It's gonna be more for the Caden series. So not that you couldn't power fish with a Sierra, but the Caden series is much more designed for heavier duty baits like swim baits and frogs and things like that. So another major difference is the full court grip here. So this is a full court compared to the split grip you usually get on the Sierras. I don't physically own a Sierra series. That's the one rod that I don't have, but I do have now the Caden and I do have the Champion XP and I do have the Fury series. Um, so this this is the full grip here. You're gonna basically get more power on, on your hook sets when it comes to the full cork as opposed to the split cork. But it's all, it's all kind of a personal preference thing at the end of the day between split cork and full cork. You can still get plenty powerful hook sets when it comes to just basic split grip handles even compared to full cork. But for situations that we got this rod for, I think the full cork is gonna help us out a little bit. So. This is my newest frog rod. So this is gonna be used mainly for frogs throwing into very thick vegetation, very thick cover, very heavy duty applications for frog fishing. And this is gonna be for that. So like I said before, this is a 7.4 Magnum Heavy, which is Dobbin's version of an extra heavy. So a very, very thick rod, almost like a broomstick, which is what it's designed for. And like I said, it's gonna be an exclusive frog rod. So weight wise, for a 7.4 extra heavy, not too bad, not overly heavy. Obviously it's gonna be heavier than like say the Champion XP rod that, that we made a video on a few weeks ago. I'm um, gonna be a little bit heavier than that, I'll be honest, but not by much. It's not overly heavy. It's not like you're, it's not like a heavy, heavy rod. It's a very like middle of the road in terms of weight. Um, it's not the heaviest thing I've used, not the lightest thing I've used, but Regardless, it's not bad. Um, mainly designed for frogs, jigs, pitching, or small swim baits. So like I said, mainly using this for frogs. So a little bit of the colors here, you got the solid black. It's got like a like a texturized rod blank here. The Champion XP was not texturized, it was just a smooth piece. This is texturized. Um, got the red coloring throughout. So the Dobbins Furies are green coloring throughout. The Champion XPs are blue. This is a red. I believe the higher end champion HP is like an orange. So guys, all together, this is a very, very nice rod. Not a whole lot to talk about here. This is just a very basic frog rod, but should be plenty for what I need it to do. Quarter ounce all the way to one and a half ounce. So more than enough for this application. You know, when you're fishing the very thick vegetation, the very thick cover, you want something that can pull the fish out of all that cover. So that's why 
you know, having a heavy action rod like this is very important. But yeah, guys, and then if you want a quick idea for the reel, so this is a Shimano Corrado K 8.5 to 1 gear ratio with 50 pound braid. You don't really need anything bigger than 50 pound, in my opinion, or at 65 pound maybe for frogs because of all the very thick cover. If you're pushing in that really, really thick cover, maybe 65, but 50 is fine for all applications of frog fishing pretty much. But yeah, guys, not a crazy in-depth video, but still a video that I wanted to make just kind of showcasing this this new rod that we got here, the Dobbins Caden 7.4 Extra Heavy, specifically going to be my frog rod. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see long-term results on this, be sure to check out all of our upcoming fishing videos from here on out and our one-year follow-ups on all of our rod and reel combos very soon. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.